Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one interesting pipeline related to DynamoDB. Okay, that is suppose your company is using DynamoDB to store the data. Okay, that can be IoT data or something else. Just an example here, you can explore this particular document and check this YouTube video. I'll be sharing this link in the description box where. Duolingo, which is an online startup related to EDTech field, okay, they basically teach different languages, okay, like nearly 80 languages they teach across the world in international level, okay, right, and they use basically DynamoDB to store 31 billion items in support of online learning site, okay, right, so you just think that at what level different companies are using DynamoDB, right, so now, in for a future backup purpose, you might want to store the DynamoDB data in S3. Not only for backup purpose, but if you store the DynamoDB data in S3, then you can connect S3 with different big data computing tools and explore the data in much detail way, maybe using PySpark or Hive or Athena, whatever. Okay, right? So, how to take the backup of DynamoDB data in S3? That's what I am going to discuss, right? And for that, this is the pipeline. So what we will do? First, we will create a glue crawler. Okay. It will crawl the DynamoDB table and it will try to infer the schema. Okay. Right. And once it infers the schema, it will create a table in the glue catalog. Right. Now that is DynamoDB table. Okay. Actually. Then what we will do? We will run a glue job. Okay. Which will read the data from this glue catalog table, which is generated from DynamoDB. And then it will write the data as parquet in S3 bucket. Okay. And then on that S3 bucket, suppose some big data engineer want to execute certain queries. What you can do? You can crawl that S3 data using glue crawler. And after crawling from the parquet data, whatever this crawler will be inferring this schema and the metadata information, it will be writing in glue catalog. That table you can use in Athena for querying purpose okay so this is the general pipeline now without any further delay let us directly jump into implementation section so first what i will do i will create an im role okay for glue so here i'll be going to create role and then here i want to create the role for glue right i'll be going to next permission and here I will be searching glue service role. Not only that, I will be giving Athena role also. Okay. S3 access also I will be giving. And apart from that, CloudWatch full access also I will be giving. Okay. You can fine tune the access before going to production. But for the time being, I am just showing normally. And DynamoDB also let me give DynamoDB need only access. That is fine, right? No need to give full access because just we want to read the data. That's pretty much it. And here I can give the name blue DynamoDB 16 Okay. And then let's create this particular one. Right? If we get permission issue, we'll be adding something here. Right. Now here I'll be going to AWS Management Console again and let me show you my glue table. Sorry, a DynamoDB table. Okay. So here, if I go to DynamoDB and go to tables, here new data set is present. Okay. Which is basically, if I go to view items, you will be seeing first sentiment is there, and that is sentiment of that news, and when it is published, and the title. Okay. Related to some highlighted news. We have inserted in this DynamoDB table. Okay. Now, suppose this table we want to take back, right? Now, what we will do? We will go to AWS Glue because Dynam from DynamoDB the crawler has to crawl the data. Okay. So, we will be going to AWS Glue and we will be creating a Glue crawler. Okay. So, I will be going to crawler, add crawler, crawler name Dynamo Show. 16yt this kind of thing I am giving let it be default and then here choose the data source our data source is DynamoDB 
table name you can browse here only one table is present i'll be choosing that particular one and then here enable data sampling not required scanning rate okay so here what is that scanning rate is basically how this particular crawler will scan or read the data in dynamodb table okay now here you need to keep a very important note so here when we create dynamodb table we basically specify what is the read capacity unit that is what should be the speed of reading this particular table right now the complete read capacity you cannot assign to glue crawler okay if you basically assign complete read capacity of this dynamodb table to glue crawler what will happen that when crawler will scan the table and read the data then no other system can read the data from here right that will be a problem okay so to avoid that here you can specify the scanning rate that is it is suggested that you keep 0.5 like that okay that is uh, half of the read capacity unit whatever is available for your dynamodb table see here it is clearly written if not specified default is 0.5 percent for provision tables okay and our table is provision table so we will be using this particular default only i am not going to change anything okay right so keep a note on that and then here add another data source no and i'll go to next and i'll be creating and choosing an existing role that is this particular one and then here i'll go to next run on demand fine and then here add database okay and here i can give dynamo db 16 backup yt this kind of name where basically our table will be created after crawling the data in the glue data catalog and then here i'll be going to next and then here i'll be going to finish okay so here my crawler is created okay so here what i will do as per the diagram we need to first crawl the data and create the table in this particular glue data catalog okay so here i will be running the crawler okay so here it will be taking some time just refresh this page with certain time interval okay it will be automatic only and then once crawling is finished what it will what will happen that in the glue data catalog under that particular database what we created one table will be coming okay and then we will be reading that particular table in a glue job and we'll write the data in s3 bucket as part k okay so let me create the s3 bucket for that okay right so here i'll be going to s3 and here i'll be going to create bucket okay so here uh, parquet data backup dynamo so why i am storing as parquet data because parquet store the data as compressed format and it is columnar data storage so query execution will be faster that's why okay so here i'll be creating the bucket okay simple not only this i'll be creating another bucket okay so when i'll be querying the backup data from athena athena will be storing the result of the query execution each time in s3 location right so for that athena is three result capture this also i am creating okay so two buckets are created okay let's see what is the status so now currently status is stopping so when it will be ready then we can use the table present in the glue data catalog okay so here our two buckets are created right cool so what is the next step so once the table will be created from dynamodb we need to create a glue job okay that glue job will be our next step so we'll be doing that so here see crawler is ready now if you go to database here this is the one what we created and then if you click on tables here see new status set table is created which is basically classification is dynamodb that is it is indicating that in the back end it is pointing to dynamodb okay now here in the etl section we will be going to jobs and then here we will be adding the job here i will be giving the name dynamo db demo yt okay im role whatever role we created and then spark python only let us skip i will go to next okay and give it some time so this is our source system news dataset which is present in glue catalog 
I'll be going to next change schema. Let it be next. And then here where you want to write the data that is target. Okay. So here to write the data here you can choose this particular one create table in your data target. So I want to write the data in S3 and in parquet format and connection time no need to specify just target path is basically parquet data backup dynamo where what is the location I created and I will be giving a slash okay and here I will be going to next and see here one to one mapping now this particular blue crawler has understood and infer this schema see first column is sentiment whether that news is negative positive or neutral then publish them when the news is published and what is the title of that news now save the job and edit this script okay so here my ETL pipeline is created. I'll be closing this particular one. And then here, basically this particular one just now what we created, right? So what I will do, I will run this job. Run job, okay? So what will happen basically? So if you go to this diagram, now we created the glue job. Now the glue job will write the data in S3 as parquet. Okay, so if you go here, Currently no object is there. Once this particular job will execution will, will complete, then you will be seeing the data and in parquet format in the S3 location. So just wait for some time. So see it is succeeded. Okay. Now if I refresh this particular location, see we got data, right? In snappy compressed parquet data we got. Now what is the next step? Once we got the data in S3. In parquet format, we will be running a glue crawler to infer this schema from the parquet and create a table in glue data catalog, okay, which we will be using for querying from Athena. So, backup is taken in S3. Just I am showing you the next part, okay. So, this is the pipeline basically to take backup in S3. Once that is done, simply I will be going to glue crawler and here I will be adding another crawler, okay. Parquet scan dynamo I will go to next and then here I will go to next S3 location and then here which parquet location it has to scan I will be specifying so basically our parquet data is stored here I will be choosing this particular one I will be giving a slash to ensure that that particular location will be scanned and then I will go to next next and I will be choosing the existing IAM role what we created I will go to next run on demand next no need to add database whatever database we created earlier there only we want to add the table and then here i will finish this particular one okay so park is scan dynamo is ready now here i will run the crawler okay so what will happen now this particular crawler is started it will basically scan this s3 data whatever dynamo to be backup we have taken and that will write a table in this particular glue catalog okay where which one we can use in Athena for querying purpose. So let us wait for some time until it is ready state. Okay. So currently it is in stopping state. Soon it will be ready, and then we can query the data from Athena. Okay. So it is in ready state. Now if I go to databases and then DynamoDB tables, if I check, see here parquet data backup dynamo is created just now okay and this is pointing to this particular location which is parquet data now the next step and the last step i can show you that is i'll be going to aws and then here i'll be going to athena and in athena data source i'll be choosing glue data catalog and then here if you uh, see this is the database what we are having and this is the table okay parquet data backup dynamo I will be selecting that particular one and then here select star from parquet data dynamo maybe where just one query for the demo purpose I am showing where if I expand this uh, title is the column right where lower of title like okay so maybe uh, or not lower uh, let me give upper okay upper of title like percentage wildcard character modi percentage okay that is we want to find all the news which contains modi in the title okay let's see 
so here if i just run this particular one here we will be getting the data output is 3 this particular does not exist yes okay right i think we have to go to settings and then query result location we have to set okay so here browse s3 we created one athena location right athena s3 result capture there is this particular one we will be choosing that and we will be saving once that is done i will be going back to editor and then here i will try to execute this particular one okay so here see it is executed see here we are getting all the titles which contains modi okay there is pm narendra modi calls for innovating india from india right that is basically uh, pm modi is inspiring startups right like startups backbone of country's development pm modi said okay so this kind of analysis you can do with athena after taking backup from the dynamodb table okay right so if you see our s3 locations which one basically we created to capture the athena result if i go to s3 and then here athena s3 result capture if i go here unsaved and it basically stored year then month then date and under that see csv data is stored with metadata okay so that is the setting of athena whatever query will run the result set it will be storing in this particular s3 location and then maybe data analyst team or data science team can take this data apart from some machine learning and do all these kind of advanced stuffs okay so i hope you understood how to take backup of dynamodb in data lake and then query using athena right so on this particular topic some detailed documentation link i'll be providing in the description box or in the comment section you can explore that and play with it okay so this is all for my this video if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe our channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of all latest videos thank you